Did you ever want to have a 100% save file, or maybe you lost a 100% save file that you used to have on your GameCube game? Well, look no further than this video. This is a tutorial on how to transfer GameCube save files to your memory card using an SD card. There was a Wii Homebrew GameCube memory converter app, but it rarely ever worked for me. So this video is going to show you how to use a completely different program altogether that's much simpler and hopefully way easier to figure out. For this you're going to need a GameCube, obviously. Or maybe a backwards compatible Wii, it really depends. A regular GameCube memory card, a GameCube SD card reader, I'll link that in the description. And the last thing you're going to need is an action replay disc. I'm also going to link that. So the first thing you want to do is download the GCMM application. This is pretty much a third party GameCube memory card manager. So you're going to move the GCMM application to the SD card. Afterwards, go find a GameCube save file you want to copy off any website. I usually use GameFAQs for mine. After you download the GCI file, be sure to move it to the SD card in a folder called MC Backup. You might need to make it yourself. Afterwards, put the SD GameCube memory card converter in any slot, then put the regular GameCube memory card in the other slot. Of course, put in the Action Replay disk. Use the Action Replay software to boot up the GCMM doll file. This will lead you straight to the GCMM application. It's going to ask which slot your SD card is inserted into. Because I put mine in A, I'm going to press A. After that, you're going to be presented with a list of what the buttons do. What you're going to need to focus on is the X button. Press the X button to restore a GCI file. Then just select the save file you want to restore, aka convert to your memory card. Press A again and it'll update your memory card with the save file. Once that's all said and done, turn off your GameCube, take out the action replay disk obviously, so that whenever you boot your GameCube back up, you can go to the internal memory card manager to see if you followed the steps correctly. If so, you're going to see the save file on the memory card and it should function just fine. To test it out, I downloaded a save file to Sonic Adventure 2, so I'm going to boot up SA2 and see if the save file works. And look at that, it does! 180 emblems, check it out! And that's pretty much how you can convert save files to your GameCube memory card using an SD card. Hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully it was easy to figure out. Be sure to use this program whenever you can. Link to everything will be in the description and thanks for watching.